Hello children, welcome to DP Education, Advanced Level, A Level General English Subject, Past Paper Discussions. This is the first general English question. So now as you know, you, you have gone through many papers. I have discussed many papers in my previous videos. I have done past papers. I think you have a good experience of what kind of questions do we get. And just before this video, I did 2011, that's equal to first paper. There you understood what kind of questions you get in the first paper. You know, there are four parts. First paper is A, B, C, D, and those different parts tested different things. Part A grammar, second part, part B comprehension, then dialogues, then writing, writing formal letters, informal letters. Me okumapi first paper again. And now today I am going to discuss 2011, the second paper again. Because now we have finished discussing the first paper. Now let's discuss the second paper. This is how you get the paper. Paper ke minna mehima inne. So this is the first page. There you get this one. Our first paper ke mam pinnu agema. You get a box like this, and here there are some spaces, but don't write anything here. Mehima vam kutli ani ne. There is a small box here with index number. This is the place where you write your index number. Ara atulatvi me anke netan vibhagan ke. You write that one here, and these places also don't write anything because they are for the examiners. Right, next questions comes as part A. Here also, there are four parts. Second paper, second paper kitna kota satrak tieno. Part A, B, C, D kela. First part, your vocabulary is tested. Wagi vachan hai kya The word power is tested for that. Different kinds of questions are there. You can test karana with the prasna theano. Then metana theano word ending you can select karana word dekak baagi adila itru baagi koma the inni options to not theano eking hari eka. And also there are some other questions like this name text ke me ball print kala theane what a saman arte the name eking kiwi ni mukadde and eva gay prasna. And next question. And you are given some words. Me wagi vachana tikat dila. E vachana pahak thora gana vakya pahak liya na thiyan. Very simple. Use this word in a sentence. E vachana vakya ka pahavichi karan loon. And also there are some other questions like that. Underline the correct word from the given in brackets. Me varahan nasi thiyan vai veng. Ni varri vachana thora na. So all about words. Right. And then that is part A. Part B comes dialogues. Dialogues and they are even in part, all syllabus and new syllabus both. Dialogues, you have to fill in the blanks of a dialogue. And next, so you have to use this and fill in the blanks. And next, another dialogue to fill in the blanks. His temper one I thought dialogue. And there's another one, then one one dialogue for you to write along. Thaniyama dialogue here clear. Situation like explain kalati na minna mehima ka kiela. Ya vasta avi dewa da karana deba se na ittan telephone conversation ni keva ke. Right? Here you get. So that is part B. Part C, comprehension. For comprehension, you get a paragraph like this. Che de lo kuna da bae nipa meo harili isi te runga na. I'll help you how to understand it and read and do these activities and next question again another paragraph and answer the questions and again based on those things that you got from that text and there are some other questions and that is Part C, comprehension. Then comes to Part D, writing. Part D, writing. And here, 
you have one writing question and write a note, not take a clear thing, you can see. And there is another question that is write an essay, essay ka clear. So then there are two questions in part D, part D ke tena kotas dekat tena. Both are writing, they can make go, can be writing a letter or essay, eva ge. Then make it in ikak not take up and it take a essay ka. So now you know what kind of questions are there in the second paper. Then second paper ekena monogi prasna de avila tena ka pahadili. Now let's take one by one. Apiwa then hena hikingi kargana. Let's discuss them in detail, right? Okay. Right. Part A. Vocabulary. Right. In this part, your word power is tested. For that, you get different kinds of questions. Let's see what the first question is. Underline the correct word ending, selecting from those given in brackets. So now you see there is a sentence, and in that sentence, one word only half is there. There are three options given. So there you know when, when you take a word by adding suffixes. We can make a noun an adjective, adjective into an adverb. What happens when you add those suffixes? Suffix Does it become an adjective or adverb or verb or noun? And also, you should have a good knowledge about the sentence. And see whether that word is in the subject place or verb place or object place. Vaki subject kin the verb object it awastatuni. Kotana the me wachanatini. Enang mitante inawana, if it is the verb, it should be in the form of a verb. If it is in the subject place, subject place again and thin in noun nikakthina pulan, noun nigga calling nang adjective in the pulan neither. Anni wagi, if you have a good idea, you can easily guess the right word ending. Numerary word ending ka thora ganna lezi. Abhi balu mikak nikan kiya wala. First one, it is not fashion, fashionable, fashionably to wear short skirts now. Short skirt and the ima. Eka fashion me fashion ikak ne me idha, fashionable ne me idha, fashionably idha. Which is the correct answer? If you say fashion, it is a noun. Fashion. It can be used as an adjective also. Short skirt and the ima. Fashion nikak nimi the fashionable nimi the fashionably. So actually, we don't say fashionably to wear. Fashionably to wear, we don't say. Actually, we say fashionable. It should be fashionable it is not fashionable to wear short skirts now second one everyone should be concerned about everyone should be concerned about globally warming globalized warming or global warming Goliya unusuma. Gana. Then, how do we tell? Globally warming kya nahani api. And also, we don't say globalize. Globalize is at the verb form. Goliya karane. And actually, we say global warming is the correct word ending. And next one, I have already sent an application. Applicant applicable for that job. So, how do we say? Do we say I have already sent an application or applicant or applicable? Applicant is the person. 
ayatum karu, ayatum karu ni kaya buat dia ni ni. Applicable kaya ni kaya ni ni ni. Applicable kaya ni can be applied. Ayatum kalau hacky kaya ni ke. Actually, I have sent an sent an application. Ayatum pas dia noun form should be there. Nama pada ke suruh pin. And next one. He taught his children to be respectable, respectful, respectfully of other cultures. How do you say? Me even koi ke dhari ani thoda. He taught his children ya ya ke daru ante kya dunnalu. Ani cultures wale tani Sanskriti inte garu karan ne kohmu kya ani. Respectable kya ani? Respectable person, that is the adjective form. And respectful of other cultures or respectfully. Respectfully is also not taken. Actually, the correct word is respectful of other cultures. And cultures for that Garukaranda. He died of natural, naturally nature. Causes. Do we say nature causes? Yeah, died of means. Yeah, Matthew ne. So bahar dar me hetu nisa. Do we say so bahar ke hetu mak hetu ak nisa ne tu na? Do we say nature cause ki anne apni ne idar? Naturally adverb form ek gan nitne. Natural causes. Very simple. So bahar ke hetu ak nathi ya. About Pratuna. So now you see, like this, you have to select word ending. You get a question of this. Right? Even this year, I mean, how do you have to do it? Next one. Read the following passage and match the words marked in bold print. Match the words. Words match karan. Mona words the marked in bold print. Bold print means tadak kaluwa kuri. So in this one, I have given those words in a different color. Mang tadak kaluwa kuri ni me me tatu part in dakkola thina. Then it is very clear to you. Ata vidat vadat pahedil venni. Right? Ato ranni vai vachana. Bold print with their meaning. They vai meaning. Seka. By writing the correct number in the box provided. Box se kaat dila di ni pura eke. Adala anki eli anni. For example, now look at this one. Here, the make teru me enne. Ena vachan yara bowl print wala vachan yin koi kade enni. E adala anki me tani li anna ti enni. Right. To understand that one, you should read the text and understand the meaning. And guess the meaning. Maybe the words given in ball print. Me, dilati na vachana. Samata, you don't know the meaning. But with the help of the words that you know, terma dhannati unat. Dhanna vachana udhav karagana, e vachana guess karana. Guessing, inferring, right? I have done a video like this. And I think you can watch it. How to guess? The meaning of an unknown word with the help of known words. Dhanna vachan udhav karagana. Komadha no dhanna vachan e therum inna meke venna ati keela anumana karla hitan. Ehema hari apita tawar meke match karagana pulwa. Now let's read the text and see. When you are looking for meaning, you often get it despite an unfamiliar word. When you are looking for meaning, you get you often get it despite an unfamiliar word. Unfamiliar word deka despite despite kya ni mukad. Api balamara vachan liste ke. Sometimes, however, a strange word makes you slow down or even stop. A strange word deka makes you slow down. वाह स्लो करनो नेता समाटे नवतन ना पुल वालो या या वे न्यू रीड किया वन कोटे स्ट्रेंज वर्ड देगा तुम कहते में स्ट्रेंज किया नहीं नाउ यू कैन गेस इट मैं काम अपने हिता गाने पुल वाले नहीं थे 
අපිට මොන වගේ වචනයක් අහුණොත් අපි කියවගෙන යන එක ස්ලෝ වෙන්නේ එක නවතින්නේ strange word එකක් now you can guess the meaning no that is what we can so anith එක කියවලා තේරුම් ගන්නකොට ඒක ඉබේම අහු වෙනවා ගන් අලුත් වචනයක් අමුත් වචනයක් අහුණොත් පොඩ්ඩක් අපිට ස්ලෝ වෙන්නේ නේ ඒක නෙමෙයි කියන්නේ slow down or even stop because you have lost the author's meaning you have lost the author's meaning rachakya ge adhas you can't get because it can be a new word or strange word such a word deserves attention such a word even if it deserves attention wedi e wage wachanawata wedi avadhanayak yomu kala yutui how much attention it deserves depends on mostly on your reading purpose how much attention kochchara ayakata avadhana yomu karanna onedi kiyana eka deserves depends on e karanda pawatinne mostly on your reading purpose reading purpose eka anuwa eka randa pawatinne ewara vidara purpose kiyanne mokadda we will see now you can easily guess it neda arumuna kiyawi mamme mokada da kiyanne arumuna anuwa thamai eke eka randa pawatinne and the first step is to know the word mentally or make a pencil mark in the margin and read on so it's a good paragraph then make a hondai yama kiyola therum ganna vidhi kiyala thiyenne first step ekalu ehema kiyogane yana kota aluth wachana ahu wenawa anivarayema strange words first step is to note the word e word ekak note karanna not mentally how mentally guess karanna puluwan is o make a pencil mark nathan make a pencil mark while reading put a pencil in irak gaha ganna podi mark ekak da ganna in the margin and read on in the margin that means now when you take the reading text there is a margin here this side nathan podi tick ekak mark ekak da ganna alut wachana thibuna peeli so it, there are two options one is that you have to mark it mentally or else with a pencil right and next now these words despite strange purpose mentally now we got four words here and going on prevents further interruption going on further they prevents thau දුරටත් කියවගෙන prevents වලක්වනලු interruptions of the author's thought author's thought author ගේ නැත්තම් writer ගේ සිත වෙලේ වලට interruption එක වලක්වනවලු inter what is interruption now let's see from here it also gives you a chance to find out whether the rest of the passage it also gives you king order then also gives you a chance to find out hoya ganna avasthawa dena whether the rest of the passage makes the meaning clear enough for your purpose the rest of the passage passage ge ithuru kotasa passage makes the meaning clear arthe pahadili karana ada for your purpose obe aramunata purpose we got it earlier also when reading for for pleasure when you read for pleasure for enjoyment you can usually learn enough about a word from its context when you read for pleasure da we know then asa wata kiyawa ehema kiyawana kota you can learn enough usually learn enough about word from its context context means how it has been or where it has been used e wachane यूज करला तीन अवस्था अनुहाट एक लेसीम हिता गन पुलो अनु कॉन्टेक्स्ट व्हाट व्हाट कैन बी द मीनिंग इट इज मोर इंपोर्टेंट टू गो ऑन एंजॉयिंग द बुक देन टू फाइंड आउट हाउ द डिक्शनरी डिफाइंस एवरी न्यू वर्ड इट इज मोर इंपोर्टेंट तावत वेदगत वेना मना गो ऑन एंजॉयिंग द बुक तावत रे पोत की वाला एंजॉय करीम then then to find out how the dictionary for defines every new word dictionary ekak thiyenuma mokadda kiya kiya hoyala balana wata rata kama nevata nevata kiyuwima 
better and enjoy you can enjoy now there are six seven words now let's read all and see the second step is to trouble some words second step ek tumhe trouble some words after completing a passage and try to work out what each one means after completing a passage sampurna passage ek kiyawala and try to work out what each one means eking ek amaru wachana trouble some words mokaddi kene ka you try out karna anavata so trouble some word what does it mean and step by increase with the what it means the need for this step increases the need for this step me api warata avashyata wedi wenawa with with the amount of comprehension required the with the amount of comprehension understanding what me koi taran durata therum ganno ne di kiyen eka mata thamai meka pawathi anda pawathin saying the word aloud saying the word aloud me wachane may help you to recognize it as one you have heard and then to recall how it was used so it's a good point right saying the word aloud vachane hayyen kiyawana eka may help you vata upakara wenawa lu to recognize anduna ganna it as one you have heard wa kalin eka ahala thiyena even a tongue and then to recall how it was used to recall apa we ka matak karaganna how it was used e wachana komoda etana paavichcha kala thibuni kene podda nevata matak wenna wa hayyen kiyona that chance is there if this fails make a better do not you can make an intelligent guess ema tamana you can make an intelligent guess buddhimat guess karana anumana karala hitana guess based on what you have learned from reading the whole passage reading the whole mun passage ekam kiyala e igana gatta de thuling wa meka mokaddi kiyala guess karana passage another look at the context context may confirm or improve upon the guess etoda e anu confirm karana alu or improve upon the guess गेस कर हर दिन कन्फर्म वाट इज कन्फर्म तहवर करना राइट अब बल मे वाचन सामान तेरम मन तीन के ना फस्ट वन इट से मीनिंग ऑफ अ वर्ड से मीनिंग ऑफ वाचन तेरम की सामान को मीनिंग ऑफ द वर्ड अंडरस्टैंडिंग अंडरस्टैंडिंग तेरुम गानो अवबोध कर गानो एक हम बुना मितन वचन है कंप्रिहेंशन नंबर 9 एंड नेक्स्ट वन इंटरफेरेंस और डिसकंटिन्यूइटी इंटरफेरेंस हम कट इंटरफेयर वेनो or discontinuity you continue something ekak digata karagana yanne athu madin panino baada wenno anne wage therumak dena wachane mokadda interruption den wa tv balana kota thema neda samata signal ema nathu sorry for the interruption kila wetene e madin baada madin panino wage ne so the then inter, interfere interference or discontinuity means interruption that is number 5 next one the text that comes immediately before and after a word 
the text that comes immediately before and after a word vachanekata langi makaling sa pasuwe ina kiyana therumwe ne vachaneyak kiwa meka immediately before before ken pera after pasu what what word the context actually enough about word from its context e tiyana vistara anuwa e dila tiyana avasthawa anuwa right so actually it's number 6 next one unfamiliar what are unfamiliar words unfamiliar words gana kiyuna neida metana what is it troublesome now comprehension confirm no and here we took we to not katta and strange word ha uh, sometimes however a strange word makes you slow down स्ट्रेंज वर्ड देखा क्या स्लो करना है क्या नहीं अनफैमिलियर वर्ड देखा क्यों नहीं देन दैट इस स्ट्रेंज नंबर टू नेक्स्ट वन डिफिकल्ट टू हैंडल डिफिकल्ट टू हैंडल हैंडल करना आप हासू डिफिकल्ट टू हैंडल ये तेरु में ना वाचने मुकाबला ट्रबलसम उसने troublesome words difficult to understand difficult to handle so then at that is eight difficult to handle or difficult to hasuruwa ganna amaru and in spite of we got it at the beginning muladim apita hambuna mata penni hmm here you often get it despite an unfamiliar word this despite means in spite of despite number 1 then intention what is intention your intention age bala porottu gene eka neida intention what what is it not these words purpose number 3 intention means your purpose purpose of reading that is number 3 right next one make certain make certain tahawuru karna yamak tahawuru karna again now we found confirm then itru ek lesi ne itru ela thiyena ek in your mind in your mind what is remaining apita idang ithuru vachana me tik api gatta and we took these things and in your mind mentally number 4 your mind mentally mind mentally it's number 4 right we completed yes good balan amaru ne कल्पना इन क्यों आना राइट सो दैट्स अ डिफरेंट वे ऑफ गिविंग क्वेश्चन राइट अन्ना प्रश्न या किन थावत भी दिया यूज्ड इन अ कॉन्टेक्स्ट चेदे के यूज कर लेती है ना चेदे अक्षम दिन है तम्मी वचन था नहीं दिन पुरान बट व्हेन यू गेट अ गेट वन वर्ड वचन या गत्ता हम के थानी में गत्ता According to the paragraph, you have to guess the meaning. Me che de tanu. Eka baita kala din avastha or tanu. Vaat erum ganno, right? Okay. Let's look at the next question. Hmm. That is, select any five words from the list given below. There is a list given. Vachana list kathi ano. Select any five words. Ono vachana pahak thor ganne. And use each of them in a sentence. to bring out its meaning clearly eva thora gatcha vachana paha use in a sentence vakya ka bhavita karanne ek ther hariyata ve ther ther ma ena vidiyata you may use the verbs in any tense if it is a verb 
verb be kak nang eka any tense may be present past future any tense ekin use karanna puluwa do not change the form of the other words anith wachana if it is an adjective or adverb noun ehema thibunoth eke e vidiyata use karanna ona and you can't change that. you know by adding suffixes we can change the form of the word adjective ekak nang eka adverb karanna puluwa neda beautiful beautifully ye wage you can't change ye wage wenas karanna ba you have to use that word as it is me deela thiyena vidiyata paavichcha karanna one but if it is a verb kriya padayak nang ek you can use the any tense present past future any tense ki use karanna puluwa right so with that understand let's let's read the words api balamu hena wachana tik kiyala issella conflict situation distance approach suspect remembers survive smart slowly fresh next you have to select only five me when pahak thoragena vakya pahak liyanna thiyenne right now let's try to write some sentences now let's i'll discuss all conflict so when you say conflict so the the ethnic conflict or the conflict between the the army and ltte began several years ago conflict or the conflict between the two teams team dekak athar vecha conflict ekak yani gatuma right so likewise you can make sentences then situation so in this situation or in that situation or the present situation evage use kala the present situation of the country is not so good or in that situation i could not understand what i had to do e vastha mata hita ganna berana man monawada karanni kiyala so likewise use that word in the sentence and distance what is the distance from your home to school or gedari nang school te tiyena dura kochchara the distance right the distance from my home to school is 2 kilometers e wage ona wa ke right and suspect the police arrested the suspect and oh, they suspect you as the one who did that did that work ट्रिप so then she always remembers you e wage matak karana e wage kiyanna survive to survive in the society you must learn some english otherwise the survival is not difficult not easy smart smart adjective e wage smart phone kiyana one e smart so then he is a smart person the way that he presented his present or did his presentation is very smart smart him paavichcha karanna puluwa slowly he meter he ran slowly so he could not catch the bus ya he meter gie he went slowly and so he could not catch the bus and fresh having fresh uh, fruit or food or fruit is a very good thing for your health fresh kene alut neta neum palaturu neum aahara gani mobe saukira hondai right now i used all these words in a sentence mam me okko wachana hena sentence eka paavichcha kara api balamu wen pahak vitarak liyala because you have to write only five pahak ne liyana den let's see what we can take any any five it can be an adjective or verb or 
noun form or anything making own hem ekak habai if it is a verb verb ekak nang eke onama tense ekin use karanna puluwang but if it is the any other word adjective adverb hem thiyuna ek e vidiyata me use karanna you can't change the word class word class ekak change karanna honda ne hari api balama ehenan okay distance okay the distance distance the distance uh, from my home to school home to school is 2 kilometers 2 kilometers එහෙම ලියන්න පුළුවන් නැත්නම් කිලෝමීටර්ස් කියලා ලියන්න පුළුවන් ඕ 5 කිලෝමීටර්ස් ඕ 1 මයිල් එනි නිකන් ඩිස්ටන්ස් එක ඕන එකක් දාන්න ඇයි ජස්ට් පුට් ඉට් ද ඩිස්ටන්ස් ෆ්‍රොම් මයි හෝම් ටු ස්කූල් ඊස් 2 කිලෝමීටර්ස් ඕ 5 කිලෝමීටර්ස් ඕ 2 මයිල්ස් ඕ 100 මීටර්ස් and we'll try another one and we can say approach for suspect up your comma ki one is right let's see even the conflict you can comma gan liyan puluwang api ne eda now the distance smart is also very good word no smart an adjective so here the distance is noun api balama ehena adjective ekut use karala smart person kiyala kiyanna puluwang you can describe a person or the ways of doing something on the smart video the karage ne hema kiyannath puluwa or our english teacher is a smart person you can tell right and smart person we smart teacher but now don't write very short sentences right he is smart he is smart vachana thunai e wage punchi wakyana liyanne pa hema liwata he is smart ki wata he kiyanne kawuda pahadili ne ema punchi wachana deke thuni at least there should be five or six words in a sentence aduma gaane wachana pahak kayak wat thiyena podda diga wakya liyanna wachana deke thuni wakya nikama smart boy ki wata no marks he is smart ki wat denna la denna la kuno so it is not a good sentence starting with a just a pronoun nikama he is smart so then use it in a longer and giving a clear meaning to the word vachana to honda meaning ekak kena vidiyata sentence ekak use karan right and for example now let's see api walama hena smart ekama use karala in a sentence without writing he is smart kiyan nathuwa api our english teacher is a smart teacher we have anne hema kiyanna puluwang etota you have at least more than 5 6 words වචන පහක් හයක් කියනවනේ or else the way he did his presentation was very smart yeah yeah ge presentation ek karupu vidhi harima smart we can use that also right let's write it the the way we means kramaya the way he did the way he did his presentation and then the, the the way he speaks ya katha karana vidhi hari smart kiyana pa the way he did his presentation was very smart right so you can use like that now we use two sent two words now another one slowly at then make a thought now you use the noun and adjective and slowly and adverb now we can write as he walked slowly he could not catch the bus as as he went slowly kiyanna puluwan
he couldn't catch the bus. As he walked, nothing. As he went, slowly, he couldn't catch the bus. Again, he could not catch the bus. Then we used an adverb also. Apni dhang hamo or game up sentence li one either. Now we can write another two. What are they? Now fresh adjective. Adjective you are come to again. So eating fresh fruit. Now, palaturu cam is very good for your health. Be sau keto itamat hondai. Apni kalim balan. Eating fresh. Fresh. Okay. Fruit. Then, fruit is the noun. Fresh. Adjective. Very good for your health. Eating fresh fruit is very good for your health. Now we can write another one. Yes, remembers very easy, you know, conflict, situation, distance. Let's see. Balu mo apie mo kadaliyani. Conflict. Get to me. Noun form me. Koma de. The conflict between the army and LTTE started years ago. Okay. The conflict. Conflict. We'll say like this. Conflict between. The government conflict between the government and and we can say we without we can say and another group and that terrorist group. Conflict between the, the government and the terrorist started many years ago. The conflict get to me between the government and the terrorist. Rajesa Trastavadi Natara started many years ago. Now I used just randomly, I used different words, five words in a sentence, and I told sentences for each and every word. The mummy hame vachanikatama vaki kiwa vachanapahat arang vaki pahak liwa. So you also try like that, not the same sentence, me wa kemanimi. You can select any word and you can write any sentence. Use that word properly to give the right meaning. Grammatically correct sentences. Then you can score that mark. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Underline the correct word from those given in brackets nivardi vachaneyating irag andinnalu from those given in brackets varannasse deela thiyenewa again nevathath balanna aayimath prashna ganamai word ganamai thiyenne prashna hala they searched for the number in the telephone catalog register Directory. Koi dapi. They search for the number. Number ek hai walu. Telephone catalog kiye na dapi. 
catalog is not that telephone numbers and telephone catalog catalog is something else telephone register or telephone directory so we know we don't say telephone register we call it actually telephone directory are durakata namavali numbers thiyena pothak thiyena so we call it telephone directory right so now you see this word is associated the me deka me vachanat ekke yana vachane me vachanat ekke yana now the monitor brought the register then register vene ka the monitor brought the directory kiyanna class ekke monitor ne eda so likewise there are different words giving different meaning and next one in the hotel lobby the detective caught glance sight view lobby ekey indala detectives la caught alla gattalu kawada alla gena thiyenne of the man glance of the man sight of the man natha view of the man he had been hired to follow what is it? in the hotel lobby the detective caught glance of the man he had been hired to follow glance of the man kin on the tongue sight of the man or view of the man he had been hired to follow what does it mean actually we don't say glance of the man manushya gi manushya monowa gi kene de kene kene sight of the man view of the man view is something else glance can at a glance can eka paratam dekka dekka hatima kiyala kene at a glance right glance means it's also kind of seeing eka 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 dekma view ka now when you go to a top of a mountain you have a nice view on the darshana kene hunda eta ata pena view ekak thiyena kiyala that's something else sight of the man manushya ge sight ekak rupe penwa next one in four years at the company he rose to the level standard quality of director he rose to the level of director now have the standard of director or quality of director in 4 years avurudu hatarekin at the company company avurudu hatarekin yawa director mattamata usas kara he rose he he lagiya promotion aragena he lagiya he rose to the level of director you know the standard of director or quality of director we see we don't say hmm, quality of director no quality of director dakwa hela giya kiyanne ani api standard of director kiyan dakwa director standard dikata giya ehema kiyanne ne actually the level of director because now standard of director standard means yam kisi standard ekak e dakwa hela yana that is not of course with promotion it is of course you gain that level a level ekak next one that hotel is so expensive they cost charge take you 10000 for bed and breakfast for bed and breakfast means that means bed means that is to sleep one night and breakfast with the aharya ticket they charge 10000 rupees the hotel is so expensive expensive means miladi kai for bed and breakfast they charge 
10,000. What is they cost the charge the take? Uttari nikam kiye veno ane idha. Lazy. They cost cost is mila veno. Now that building cost or this bag cost thousand rupees. Cost kya ne mila veno. Charge kya ne ay karagan no. Then hotel leke ekulo charge karna kila kya ne. Take gun no. So then actually with the, this place the better word is charge. Right. They charge you 10,000 rupees for bed and breakfast. She emptied the she emptied the contents, valuables, money of her purse onto the table. She emptied yeah, his cry can it them purse get which like them table like would it contain the valuables the money the purse get the unity they will take a measure them again 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 so valuables can you what in all money sally sally with rock name in a purse get in a number sicky under got the at lot to the one day the one they will contents content of the purse purse get the one they will take a measure of them again again right now it is very easy no okay now here now you understood the types of questions that you got for vocabulary that means watch on a heck yeah pariksa karan monogi prasna da pita ave matra kai then at the beginning you got a question to find the word ending never the word ending ni go hai anna di bune ni either so what is this word ending when you add certain suffixes balan samahar vachana walta suffixes ikatu karama minna me denu me hama ikata ma avashya no now i'll tell about it let's take one word and see api balam what is that knowledge about prefixes and suffixes kyan now let when you say now we'll say kind so this is an adjective make adjective ra kind mother mother is the noun kind adjective make up the venas karan puluwang when you put ly then it becomes an adverb on the kriya visheshana you know he spoke kindly karunikeva katha kara so then it became now you see by adding ly that is a suffix and also you can put here or this one n e double s then it becomes a noun kindness kindness karunika bhava so again changed and you can put prefixes also unkind you can make its opposite kind unkind karunika karunika e wage so likewise there are many suffixes me wage suffixes tha godak thiyena so when you add those suffixes the word class is changed word class ek wenas wenawa dan balanne mitana adjective eka adverb ekak wuna haimath adjective eka noun ekak karanna puluwang wuna so by adding the suffixes me wage lot of suffixes are there by adding s i o n t i o n e wage godak thiyena so sometimes maybe if you refer to a dictionary there are certain occasions i have seen children complain that word is not there even in the dictionary samarla lamai complain karana ani ani sir e wachane dictionary ewat nae ni kiyana why is that ai ehema wenne i'll give you an example meka samata wata thela athi samata now you find the word unkind unkind kiyana wachana onna api thamu chedeka vakya ka hambuna you don't know the meaning you take the dictionary and try to find onna therum hoyena hoyanne you akura yata the mokada you akura ne patan galan thiyenne if you find this word 
युवकुरे अटते हुए वाटे समाटे की न नोटी बिन्न पुलवांग ये की नहीं मुकद में के ओरिजिनल वर्ड देगा काइंड देगा but if you find the word kind kind kiyana wachana baluwa nan kind kiyana eka yatate me unkind kiyana ekak tiyena and in the dictionary they mention whether it is noun no adjective adverb ekak sandahan karala tiyena so then if you try to find this prefix me prefix ekak ekkama wachana hoyanna giyata thamata hoya ganna beri wenna so that's why children complain uh, that word is not there even in the dictionary. So there you have to identify the original word without the prefix or suffix. It was a vachani hoya gatta me a yata te wa hoya na okko me or prefix ekke prefix ekke a vachani ha dena okko me vachani teke daar dena. So just try out. That is one thing that you must know to answer this question successfully. Me prasne to uttar dena anne e dena huti enno ni. And also there is another one. There are certain words, just similar pronunciation, samana pronunciation. Me vachani, we me first paper eke tawa, me vagi. Accept. Accept. Or expect. Or accept. Or accept, expect, accept, or aspect. Bala nikka wagi tika sabd. Akuru podi podi podda kya me aavila. But different meanings. Accept is piliganno. I accept my fault. Mama ge varad piliganno. I accept. Right. So expect. That is hope. We expect good results from you. Or being on the pilituru or result balapa. Except, except boys, girls stand up. Kiwa them? Boys, the hair again, lame negative in again. Except, can a hair. So likewise, you see, tika ikka samana kiwin in kang ikka wagi. Now, different meanings. In this aspect, it is. Correct aspect. And also, there are certain words, same pronunciation but different meanings. Same pronunciation. Balan me? No. Oh, K no W. Now you see this no. No kira sadhya hai ne. Now two words. No. This is no. Me no kya ne? Nahe. Me no kya ne? Dan no. I know. I know the law puta kill again. I know. I know you. So that's another. So when you, sometimes there are certain words, same spelling. Balan me machani. Read. Make a read. I read books when I have free time. Free time thin or pot kyevano. Yesterday kiwut. Same spelling. I read a book yesterday. It me akurumai namut pronunciation different. I read a book yesterday. I read a book yesterday. See the same pronounce, same spelling but different pronunciation. Ikka makuru pronunciation vinas. Make a pronunciation ekai spelling vinas. Evagi vachanadi yano. Anne evagi na podda kwedi purohayan. So these kinds of words and also these prefixes and suffixes. Me vachane ak mulata agata ikatukarahama vachane vinas vinahati. Adjectives, adverbs, you know, adverbs, adjectives, nouns, verbs. So, likewise, you can form different words. So, then study those things, find those things. So, if you have good knowledge of it, you can answer all the questions properly. Right. So, then sometimes now. There are words like this also. Bank. Bank you have. River bank ke le kakti ya no. E gang iura. Now bank. Tau ne kakti ya no ne bank. That is the place where you go to deposit or withdraw and do some business with. Ne edha. Salli ten pat karan na. Ewa ke. 
account theme thi in a bank to a but same spelling different meanings same pronunciation right so these things what a quella balan me wagi eto gota me question ni kwaata amaru prashna at nimi right muka the word gathama me hamu vidhi kima test karana pulua now you understood now about prefixes different pronunciation different or same pronunciation different spelling right also also different meanings same word different meanings ekama wachane inna pulang vivida therun gena dan metana me wage bank ewa wage vivida therun right okay sometimes noun can be used or verb becomes a noun dan api me wage run kiyana wachane gattot run is a verb right he can run fast run it is a verb but if you say he scored 10 runs at the match match එකේ දෙයක් ලකුණු 10ක් එතකොට run කියන්නේ verb එකක් නේ එතකොට noun එකක් so then study these different uses and different word classes and how to form different words මේ වචන කොහොමද වෙනස් විදියෙන් සිද්ධ හදන්නේ ඒ ගැන study කරන්න then this question will not be a difficult one for you so then i hope you got a good understanding about this question and also how to get ready for questions of this type so then i hope to meet you with the next part of this paper me paper ekey nan ithuru kotasa mama ilange video ekith dik vaarthi ka hamu wenna until then study questions of this type i'll meet you with the part b 2011 second paper part b in my next video until then practice all these things have a nice time bye bye